So hello guys what is up today in this video i will show you how to install kali net hunter on any android device without root or without even unlocking the bootloader and you can see it's fully fledged kali Linux working on the android with bnc server and you can see it is very fast just working like a linux desktop and the terminal is working fine even the apps are working fine and you can access the apps from here so you can see we have got all the apps in this Kali Linux and you can access all the apps from here and even in right click we get all the applications from here you can open the terminal emulator run program or open the file manager and you can see it is working fine and here I am using it with a mouse and you can also control this with touch and here is the cursor you can see and you can customize the cursor by clicking on input and you can choose between them but I like the simulated touchpad the most that's why I'm using it but still I will recommend using a mouse for it and you can see it works snappy so today in this video I will show you how to install this Kali Netrunner on any Android device without root or without even unlocking your bootloader so let's get started So guys before proceeding to the video make sure you have unlocked the bootloader of your device what? What? I'm just kidding guys you don't really need that you can do this without unlocking the bootloader so first of all open any browser I'm using chrome here and go to this website from the link given in the description so this is the website of Kali Linux and it shows the Kali Net Hunter rootless installation on any Android device. So if you scroll down, you will find the main procedure for the installation. So first of all, you have to click on this link and download the Kali Net Hunter store. So I have already downloaded the app. So let me install it. Then click on done. Then go back. Again go back. And from the Net Hunter store, install these three applications: the Termux and the Net Hunter Cakes client and the hackers keyboard and the keyboard is not that important because the google keyboard is enough for us so let's open the net hunter so when you open this net hunter store application you will find all the categories and all the applications in here so if you scroll a little bit you may find the termux app but i cannot see here so i will go to categories then i will scroll horizontally and here it is the termux application so the app logo is not showing but it is basically the termux app so just install it and this is the 102 mb version not the termux app that we get in the play store and you can see the about of this app basically and until it gets installed let me show you i am in which rom so i am basically using my realme 6i indian unit and currently i am on pixel extended rom which is based on android 11 and you can also do this in android 13 and 14 also android 12 but after android 12 we are facing some issues of random process kill so so it's basically the phantom process which is being killed by the android itself but we don't get that issue in android 11 so i was in android 11 so decided to show this method so so when the termux app is downloaded you have to allow this unknown source pop up for the net hunter store then go back and install the termux and it will pop up again so simply ignore and click on cancel and now the next application we have to install is net hunter cakes client so let's head over to the NetHunter store. So here in NetHunter section, you will get all the NetHunter applications. And here we have the NetHunter Kex client. So just click on install. So this is the second application that we have to install. So let's just wait for it. So when the Kex client is downloaded, it will say to install. So just click on install. 
so the kex client is also installed and i am not installing the hackers keyboard because that's not mandatory now the next step is open termux and type these commands so first of all let's copy the first command and here is the termux application now let's paste the command then hit enter and allow the storage permission now the next command is this one pkg install wget so let's just paste it and let it install the wget so it will tell you to enter y or n so you have to click on y to install the packages so the wget is installed now the next command is this one the wget install nethunter so carefully copy this command we also have a link in the command so after copying it let's paste it and hit enter and again it will install some components now enter the next command which is the sage mod plus x install nethunter termux copy the command and paste it so the operation is done now again go to this page and copy the last command which is this one again paste the command hit enter and it will show this kali window so it will show three options basically the first one is nethunter arm 64 full version the second one is nethunter arm 64 minimal and the third one is nano so i will go for full version so i will enter one and hit enter and it will start downloading it and this is going to take some time and this is not the actual download although it has just started so it is asking for keyboard input so the default is n but we have to type y so enter y and hit enter so that it automatically installs the packages and after few minutes yeah that's what i was going to talk about after few seconds it will again ask for input so i will again enter y and hit enter and again type y and hit enter and it asks again so i will hit y and hit enter again so this is how the main downloading starts now it's basically downloading the main package for kali nethunter and this is basically 2.1 gb of file so make sure you have enough data and i have wi-fi and this is going to take some time and it also shows the eta right here so it will take more than eight minutes so let's wait for it so if you had any work to do just complete the work and come back till then the download will be completed so let's wait for it so when the file is downloaded it will look like this it will generate the sha then the integrity of rootfs then it will start extracting the rootfs and this will also going to take some time like 10 to 15 minutes so also wait for it so when the extraction is complete it will show like this delete downloaded rootfs file so here enter n otherwise it will delete the file that we need so finally the kali nethunter is installed on our device to run this you can enter nethunter or you can enter the short form which is nh so when you type nh you will enter the cli mode of kali nethunter and to exit this you can simply enter exit so first of all we have to set the password for nethunter kex let's just enter the password here so we have to enter nethunter kex password so the nethunter is just launched we have to enter the password so let's just enter kali1234 and again verify with the same password kali1234 and it will again ask for an option that is if i like to enter the view only password so i will hit no so now the nethunter kex is turned on and it has provided us rfb port server which is 5901 and the process id is 4891 now just open the nethunter kex then then click on this plus icon then it will be set to nethunter kex by default and you don't have to set the ip address so just click on the port and here after 590 enter 1 because we saw that the port number is 5901 and after the port enter the password so in password we just set kali1234 and then click on the save icon and the cakes has been started now if i click on the cakes it will show the nethunter window so the kali nethunter in local host has been started and now i have to rotate the screen so i will click 
on this option to rotate the screen so here you will get the mouse so for mouse you can click on this icon if you don't see it just click on the three dots and from input mode click on simulated touchpad so it says simulated touchpad turned on and sometimes it may look like this so if it looks like this just click on the three dot and click on scaling and click on fit to screen then go to input mode and try this option but i will set to simulated touchpad so if the screen goes dark you can turn on the auto rotate from the quick settings panel so when you turn on the auto rotate then rotate the phone you will see the screen refreshed and the net hunter window just refreshes itself and you can also use this in vertical mode but i prefer the horizontal one and guys if you don't see the cursor just connect an external mouse with an otg and you will see that it just improves the response and you can see how fast it became and now i can open the terminal from here and you can see it works snappy and now if i click on the keyboard i can type from here like if i type ls you can see it shows the directories and if i type pwd it shows the path so this is now a full-fledged kali linux running on android without root access and i can even give command and when i hit enter it will ask for the password so the password for kali net hunter is K A L I Kali then hit enter so after trying many times if you still see error unable to locate package you can enter this command which is the sudo apt update and it will start updating the Kali net hunter and I can close this keyboard and full screen this and you can also use multiple windows like if I open the start from here I can open multiple windows and even if i right click on it and go to applications and go to settings i have many options like the display control the desktop the desktop control the appearance and from appearance window i can customize the themes and again from applications if i go to the display settings i can even customize the display and from output you can only choose the bnc0 and you can customize the resolution but I don't prefer changing the resolution because if you change the resolution and apply it may work fine but in some resolutions it cannot detect the screen and it will only show a black window so just close it and here it shows an error repository Kali Linux changed to non free component and guys if you have enough data just enter this command and then hit enter and it will start updating the Kali net hunter and you can close the clip keyboard and guys as this Kali net hunter have the internet access by default you don't have to add your Wi-Fi etc manually you can start hacking on the go after just installing it so i just want to say there is no setup required which makes it very convenient so you can see it's downloading the packages and updating them so this is all about installing kali net hunter on any android device without root or even without unlocking the bootloader and this is kali net hunter and you can also install fedora or any other distributions if you want me to make videos on those topics too then do let me know in the comment section i will try to make them so yeah this is it for this video if you found this video helpful give it a thumbs up make sure to like this video and if you are new to my channel make sure to subscribe to this channel because i make regular contents like this so this is it for this video i will see you in the next one Bye bye